Hello everyone, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be drawing Firefighter Molly here and Firefighter Molly can be found on the create section of the burns.co.uk website where she and other characters are ready for you to print out and have a go at drawing. So what you'll get in your PDF is this reference picture of Molly and a blank grid. Uh, if you haven't got a printer, don't worry, you can still join in. All you need to do is draw out a grid that is nine squares wide um, yeah, so nine squares wide and 13 squares tall. Uh, you just draw that out with a pencil and ruler and then you're ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll start with a little semicircle in the top of the center square and that is just the bun on the top of her head. And then we will draw out a rough circle just following the guide in the, in the reference picture. Now it's not a perfect circle, so don't worry about making it too perfect. Um, all we need to do is, is get the right shape and then you can add in some curvy lines for her hair. And uh, I'm not great at uh, hairstyles, but even I can manage this one. And then we can draw a little shark fin shape for the end of her ponytail and then that pretty much completes her hairdo. So from there we'll go down to her neck uh, and just a couple of little marks for her neck because below her neck is the collar of her jacket. Now in the fire service we don't actually call it a jacket, we call it a tunic. So we're actually drawing the collar of her tunic and a tunic is worn to keep the firefighters safe when they are responding to a fire or a car crash or anything else that uh, you might need to call them out to. So from here we'll take a nice big curvy line and uh, draw the outside of Molly's arm. When we get to this stage we can just draw in a little line to do the end of the sleeve. And you'll notice that at her shoulder it comes to a point. It doesn't go to a circle like a, a human uh, shoulder would, but this actually comes to a point. So we just join up these two points together to make a pointy shoulder and a flat wrist. And from here we can draw in the back of the fire helmet, which is a, a small line with a bump. And then we can just follow that imaginary line through her, uh, through her sleeve here and just bring that curve out as if the fire helmet has been tucked under Molly's arm. So we just draw that curve in and then you'll notice that there are little reference points all around the drawing. So you can draw in the, uh, the torch and the, the back of the fire helmet like this and just follow the reference picture as closely as you can, especially for these more detailed areas like the fire helmet which are uh, a little bit harder to get just by roughing it out. So we just follow that and you just notice these areas like the torch and the, uh, the visor on the front and then we can follow that down so that we get the bottom of her tunic, the bit that's just coming out from behind the, the helmet. And from there we can draw a curved line across three of the uh, squares here. So one, two, three. And we just follow that, uh, that uh, curved line from the top on the other side to the bottom and that completes her, her belly. So from here we can draw in the other arm and that's another curved lines. These characters don't have straight uh, arms, they have curved lines. And from there we can draw in this little oval for her hand because these characters also don't have fingers. So we just draw in that oval and then we can start on the trousers. And uh, again, in the fire service, like with jackets and tunics, we don't call trousers trousers, we actually call them leggings. So we'll just draw in these leggings and we'll just put in the, the end of the legs on both sides and join them in the middle. So we'll just draw in this other leg. And there we go. Then we, uh, we can start on the feet. Now the feet for me are the hardest shape of the whole drawing here. So if you struggle to do the, the same shape as the reference picture, that's totally fine. I do too but we'll just do our best here and we'll just draw in the, the feet as best we can. 
and then we can start to put in some of the details now that we've got the outline of our character. Um, oh, one thing I have missed is, is this other hand, so we'll just quickly sketch that in. Again, there's no fingers, so, so just nice soft round shapes. Okay, so here we are. So what we'll do is we'll start up here again at the top and draw in the eyes. Now, the eyes are just black circles. There's no color and no eyelashes or anything like that. But if you wanted to put color or eyelashes in, it's completely up to you. And then we'll draw in a nice, big, curvy smile because Firefighter Molly loves her job as a firefighter. And then we can just sketch in some of the other details like the reflective strips on the bottom of the leggings here. Again, these don't have to be really precise and we just do the same on the, on the sleeves of the tunic. And then once we've done that, we can add in the other elements of the tunic. So we've got the Velcro strip in the middle of the tunic. And then we've got some more reflective strips at the bottom of the tunic. And then we've got some straps at the top that the firefighters use for putting their gloves in when they're not using them. And there we go, we've got the outline of our character there. I've just got a few more details, so we just shade in the eyes. And we'll just do a little bit of shading of the hair, just because it's some of the darker elements of the picture. I don't know if you can hear her, but I've got my dog sleeping next to me. So if you can hear someone snoring, it's just my little dog. And we'll just shade in these feet. Okay. And from here, we'll just add some colour, I think. So I've got some colouring pencils here. I've got a yellow and, a, and an orange. So I'll use the yellow to begin with and we'll just shade in the areas like the fire helmet, which are yellow, and some of the, um, some of the other areas like the reflective strips on her leggings and her sleeves and on her tunic. So we'll add that in there like that. And then I'll use the orange very lightly because I don't really want an orange colour, but just to colour in her sleeve and the collar and her other sleeve here and her tunic. And then we'll just go over her leggings, nice and rough, doesn't need to be perfect, just to give an idea of the right colour. But again, there's no really right colour. If you wanted to do your, your uniform in blue or red, that's, that's totally fine. So what I'll just grab another different shade of orange. This is a bit of a lighter orange. So I'll just use this to color in her face. And I think I'll use this to do her hands as well, yeah. Okay, and then what we'll do is I'll just use this normal pencil just to shade in some of the darker areas again, like the bits I've missed on the helmet. And, uh, and there we go. There's our reference picture, there's our drawing. Now, we really like to see what you guys can do. And uh, if, you, if you do do some of our creative drawings, then we'd love for you to send them to the Burns Family Facebook page so that we can see them and we can share them with everyone else.